I am Paco Guerrero and these are my three tips for shooting with a drone. Tip number one, safety first. It sounds like common sense, but apparently sense isn't that common. Know your equipment, read the manual. You can even go online, watch YouTube tutorials, just to make sure you know how to safely operate your drone. Rules and regulations of where you're gonna fly. A drone is a fun piece of kit to have in your travel bag, but it's also a very serious piece of kit. You're putting an object in the air and that comes with a lot of responsibilities. Make sure you don't fly overhead of populated areas or near roads. Make sure you're familiar with any hazards around the area. One of the main challenges of shooting with a drone is that you're actually doing two things. You're not just taking pictures or shooting video, you're also trying to fly the drone. If I can, I try and fly with a buddy. So while I'm busy manning the controls, shooting video or taking pictures, I have a friend who's keeping line of sight with the drone. And they can see where it is and they can give you a warning if there are any obstacles that are in your path. Tip number two, a drone won't tell the story. A drone, like your camera, is just a piece of equipment. I know it's very exciting to finally get in the air and have these really spectacular angles of islands and beaches and mountains and trees. The way I use a drone and the way we use a drone at GRID is very conservatively. Just because you can use drone footage doesn't mean you should. We're always trying to insert our drone footage or our drone photographs inside a story we're building. Tip number three, when I'm working with a drone, it's almost like working underwater. It gives you the ability to move 360 degrees, both laterally, vertically, front and back. Now that means that you can really control your light. You can fly around an object to backlight it, you can fly in front of it, you can fly beside it. So lighting is actually incredibly important for drone photography and drone videography. So choosing the time of day is important. You can use shadows during the late afternoon to add some drama to your shots. You can even use reflections of the water to add a little bit of that mystique to your shot. Like any form of video or photography, light is the most important element in any form of drone shooting. 